วัสดีค่ะ English for You บทนี้เป็นบทที่61แล้วนะคะเราได้ติดตามชุดตำราและเทปเสียงโดยการเรียนและฝึกฝนด้วยตนเองมาเป็นเวลาพอสมควรจนคงจะคุ้นเคยกับขั้นตอนต่างๆในการศึกษาและทบทวนเป็นอย่างดีแล้วในการเรียนภาษาอังกฤษเราต้องเรียนรู้ทั้งตัวภาษาและหลักภาษาด้วยตัวภาษาในที่นี้หมายถึงถ้อยคำสำนวนที่นำไปสื่อสารส่วนหลักภาษาก็หมายถึงความรู้ทางไวยากรณ์ที่จะช่วยให้เราใช้ภาษาได้ถูกต้องในบทที่61นี้เราจะได้ฟังคำพูดของชาวต่างชาติที่เรียนภาษาอังกฤษว่าเขามีความรู้สึกอย่างไรต่อภาษาอังกฤษและคิดว่าตัวเขามีปัญหาในการเรียนอย่างไรบ้างล้วนเป็นคำพูดที่เราเองก็อาจนาไปใช้ได้นะคะเช่นถ้าเราต้องการจะพูดว่าฉันคิดว่าฉันพูดได้ดีพอใช้เราก็พูดว่า I can speak quite well I think ถ้าเราต้องการจะพูดว่าฉันค่อนข้างจะมั่นใจเกี่ยวกับการอ่านเราก็พูดได้ว่า I'm quite confident about reading ถ้าเราต้องการจะพูดว่าแต่การเขียนค่อนข้างจะมีปัญหาในบางครั้งเราก็อาจจะพูดได้ว่า but writing is sometimes a problem และบางครั้งนะคะเรามีปัญหาในการใช้ภาษาอังกฤษที่เราอยากจะถามเจ้าของภาษาเช่นเราไม่ทราบว่าคำบางคำอ่านออกเสียงอย่างไรเราก็อาจจะใช้คำถามว่า how do you pronounce this word หรือถ้าไม่แน่ใจว่าคำบางคำที่มีหลายพยางจะเน้นหนักที่พยางไหนเราก็ถามได้ว่า where is the stress in this word และในบทนี้เราจะได้ฟังสำเนียงภาษาอังกฤษจากชาวไอร์แลนด์เหนือด้วยค่ะมาติดตามเนื้อหาของบทนี้กันนะคะ Unit 61 Languages Speaking and Listening Introduction. Bonjour. Do you speak English? Yes, sir. I speak Spanish, but my French isn't very good. That's all right, sir. I like speaking English. It's very nice to meet you. How do you do? I only speak a little English. Slower, please. Thank you. Why are you learning English? Because I need English in my work. And because I'm interested in languages, because I like it, it's my hobby, and because I like traveling, and English is very useful. So that I can understand English films, and so that I can read Shakespeare. Okay, I understand. Okay, I understand. Okay, I. I want to improve my Japanese. What should I do? Are you still having lessons? Yes, but only once a week. Well, perhaps you should have lessons more often. Well, I know I should, but I don't have the time. Do you practice at home? Yes, with my books and cassettes, every Saturday morning. Well, I think you should practice every day. Okay, I understand. Okay. You are one freshly squeezed orange juice. Thank you. Your English is excellent. Thank you very much. Really, you speak English perfectly. Well, not perfectly, but I manage. Terminology. Listen. I'm reading an interesting book at the moment. Hmm. Uh, what's it called? It's called. A grammar of the English language. Look. Part one: adjectives and adverbs. Mm. Part two: nouns and pronouns. Part three: 
Articles, conjunctions and prepositions. Which part are you reading at the moment? Part four. Verbs. Hmm, very interesting. To be exact, I'm reading part four, chapter 27. Phrasal verbs. It's fascinating. Yes, I'm sure it is. Really fascinating. Yes. Um, what's a phrasal verb? Listen and repeat. Adjectives. Adverbs. Nouns. Pronouns. Articles. Conjunctions. Prepositions. Verbs. Listen. What are you reading? Hmm? It's a book called The Sounds, Stress and Intonation of British English and American English. It's got a very long title. <laughs> it's a very long book. Oh. It's fascinating. For example, did you know this? Standard British English has 24 consonants, 12 vowels and 8 diphthongs. Really? Standard American English has 24 consonants, 9 vowels and 5 diphthongs. Did you know that? No. It's very interesting. Say that again. It's very interesting. Hmm, you say interesting. Three syllables. Interesting. Some people say interesting. Four syllables. Interesting. Oh, yes. That's true. Pronunciation is a fascinating subject. Yes, fascinating. Um, what's a diphthong? Listen and repeat. Sounds. Stress. Intonation. Consonants. Vowels. Diphthongs. Syllables. Learning languages. Listen and repeat. How do you pronounce this word? Where's the stress in this word? Is the American pronunciation the same as the British pronunciation? Is the American spelling the same as the British spelling? What does this word mean? Listen. Doing a crossword? Sorry? Are you doing a crossword? Yes. I finished it except for one word. Courgettes. Eight letters. Something something C. Something something I. Something something. Zucchini. What? Zucchini. It's the American word for courgettes. Oh. How do you spell it? Z-U-C-C-H-I-N-I. Z-U-C-C-H-I-N-I. Thanks. How do you pronounce it? Zucchini. The stress is on the second syllable. Zucchini. Hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. Listen. How long have you been learning English? Uh, three years. Well, your English is very good. Oh, thank you. Do you find it easy? Well, it's, it's not too bad. I can speak quite well, I think. I sometimes have problems understanding people, especially if they speak very quickly or if they have a strong accent. I know what you mean. It's the same for me in French. How about reading and writing? Oh, 
reading is fine. I'm quite confident about reading, but writing is sometimes a problem. I often have doubts about English spelling. <laughs> it's sometimes a bit strange. That's true. But your speaking is really excellent. You speak fluently, and your pronunciation is good. <laughs> Well, I can talk about the weather fluently, but I can't discuss philosophy fluently. That's okay. Nor can I. <laughs> <laughs> Listen and answer. Which do you think is easier, speaking or understanding? Do you often have doubts about English spelling? Are you confident about reading English? Opinions about languages. Listen. Do you like English? English what? English food? <laughs> English films? English literature? No, I mean English. The English language. <laughs> I know. I was joking. The English language. Well, I don't think that English is a beautiful language. I wouldn't call it a musical language, but I like it. Yes. And of course, it's a very useful language.、Mm, that's true. <laughs> Cheers. Skull. Oh. <laughs> Listen and say, I agree, or I disagree. English is a beautiful language. English is a musical language. English is a difficult language. English is a useful language. Song, a pocket translator with an electronic voice. I've just bought a new pocket translator. It's about the same size as a calculator. It knows every language. You just make your choice. It's got a fantastic memory and an electronic voice. It knows a lot of grammar and vocabulary. It speaks every language. You just make your choice. But I can't stand the sound of that awful electronic voice. It knows every language. You just make your choice. It's high technology, and that's fine with me. But you must agree, it's a really awful voice. I hate that voice, that electronic voice. Accents of English. These speakers are from Northern Ireland. Listen. Now, what about actually placing the subjects? It must be quite difficult for you when you're out on your own. Well, I normally take photographs of the sounds I hear. So、um, when I'm out taking photographs, it's actually it's hard to actually to explain, but it's actually sounds I'm photographing, the sounds of people. Well, the sounds that I find interesting, fairly accurate, and I at aim in the camera at the, at the sounds that I'm hearing. Well, we just happen to have a, a room full of toddlers here. Yes. Could you show me how you would take a photograph of one or two of them? Yeah, I'll just put the flash on here and check the camera. Hugh intends to hold an exhibition of his photographs soon, and he's been out in the streets, parks, and pubs of Belfast, snapping as he goes. But why should a blind person want to take photographs when he knows he'll never be able to see them himself? I think it's basically, I want people to know what my experiences are, just the same as any other photographer would want. Synopsis. Dialogue. Mr. Jones,、mm. have some salad. Oh, arigato, Anna. <laughs> 
So, you're still studying Japanese? Yes. Arigato means thank you, doesn't it? That's right. Mmm. Oh, this is delicious. Are you still having lessons? Yes. And I took your advice. My advice? Yes. You remember? I asked you for some advice and you said practice every day. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, I've been practicing every day with my books and cassettes. And how are you getting on? Oh, quite well, I think. Slowly but surely. I know quite a lot of vocabulary, uh, but it's a very complicated language. Oh, the grammar, you mean? Yes. Some things are not too complicated. For example, there aren't any articles before nouns. And there isn't a different form for plural nouns. The plural form is the same as the singular form. Yes, that's right. Mm. But if you're English, it's difficult to put the Japanese words in the right order. A Japanese word order is very different, you see. Ah. Mm. Yes, it's very complicated. But very interesting. Oh, yes. How about your pronunciation? Uh, I don't think my pronunciation is very good, actually. Oh. <laughs> I listen to my cassettes and I repeat the words and phrases. Yes. Yes, but I'm never sure if my pronunciation is the same as the pronunciation on the cassette. Oh. Ah, Jeff's been telling me about your job in the States. What? You know the job in the States, in public relations. Are you going to take it? What's that? Uh, 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 nothing. Um... Have some more salad, and tell me more about Japanese pronunciation. ของบทที่61จบลงแล้วนะคะเมื่อจบบทนี้แล้วเราคงสามารถใช้ถ้อยคำสำนวนต่างๆที่เกี่ยวกับการเรียนรู้ภาษาอังกฤษได้หลายสำนวนนะคะลองนึกทบทวนดูถ้าเรามีปัญหาเกี่ยวกับทักษะการเขียนเราก็พูดว่า I have problems with writing ถ้าเรามีความมั่นใจในทักษะการพูดเราก็บอกว่า I'm confident about speaking สังเกตนะคะถ้า I have problems ต่อด้วย with ถ้า I'm confident ก็ต่อด้วย about ถ้าเราต้องการจะออกตัวว่าเราพูดไม่คล่องนักแต่ก็พอเอาตัวรอดไปได้เราก็พูดว่า I don't speak fluently but I manage อย่าลืมทบทวนวิธีใช้คำกริยา to speak to talk to say และ to tell และวิธีใช้เครื่องหมายวรรคตอนด้วยนะคะสวัสดีครับ